Hey guys, what's happening? This is Pat Lister here with Run Repeat to give you a brand new review of the Under Armour Horizon BPF Ones. So, these are my first trail shoe, right? It's crazy to think that I've been running for a good three to four years. I've run recreationally my whole life with sports, but I never had a pair of trail shoes. So this off season here, this past winter when I was training for my recent marathon, um, I decided to hit the trails a little bit. And with that, I need to get a great deal for a nice pair of shoes. Now, I live here in Pennsylvania, we're close to where Under Armour started, so it's very prevalent in this area. And when it came for a time to get shoes, I found a great deal on these Under Armour Horizon BPF ones. And they've been a great, great treat. So I'm going to break this shoe down for you. I'm going to tell you what's good, what's not so good. I'm going to tell you how the overall fit, feel, function, performance, quality of this shoe has to offer. Come along with me on this journey here. All right, guys, so here we go. So let's start from the top down. So the top of the shoe, the upper. Some detailed notes that I want to share with you guys. From, from The first thing that you're going to want to see here is that you have this rubber kind of overlay over this whole shoe. And you could see it through that here. And, I, and I'm, let me be honest here, when I first got this shoe, I thought that it was a little much. But surprisingly enough, this rubber overlay has been super beneficial to help protect my feet when it came to like the more rugged terrain. It also just helped help prevent, uh, it helped secure me a little bit more. As you can see, the, the under there is just a mesh. And this mesh is just your typical mesh. It allows for great drainage. It allows for uh, great breathability. And it's very light. So this looks like a pretty beefy shoe, but this shoe only comes in at like 9.88 ounces in a men's size 10, I believe. So it's not as heavy as you may think. This shoe, another little kind of highlight for this upper here, has great cushion on the inside here, as you can see. The heel, it's not a super snug heel, but the way this lacing system works here, it allows for just a really secure lockdown of this whole shoe. So something to know, I did a, like a, a trail run that was involved a lot of mud with this shoe here. And pretty much, I would say about 80% of the people lost at least one shoe. Not me. These shoes stayed on the whole time. I was super impressed by that. But it went on, you know, it shows me that it has great lockdown, which you want that in a trail shoe. Because as we're going through that terrain, guys, you never knew what you're going to come by, especially in a race. And you're going to want your shoes to stay on your feet. A little highlights of the upper here. The tongue it has like an internal booty design. I don't know if you can see that. It has a pretty basic tongue. Nothing nothing high profile, but it does the trick. Another little little thing here is this, this the, the, the toe box here. It does seem pointy. It is pointy. Okay, it is. But it allows for a great amount of space as well I didn't find myself lacking any space there the midsole here you can see has a couple different light different foams we have this black foam which kind of goes around the it looks like three quarters of it and this black foam is a more firm foam it allows for um, not as much cushion as you as you may want but it allows for a great response. It allows you to kind of feel connected with the ground and the terrain as you're running. And it allows me to feel protected as well. As you can see from the shoe here, let me bend it here a little for you. It's a really, really stiff shoe in that area. And I think they did that to help provide some support on some of the tougher trails that you're gonna that you're gonna come by. I liked it overall. I think it did provide a good amount of support, good amount of responsiveness, not an excessive amount of cushioning. Which, is, personally, on the trail shoe, I don't want that much cushioning, right? I don't want I don't want to feel like I'm running on a pillow on a trail. And then as you go to the the, the more the forefoot here, just a softer foam. Um, and that foam there is just going to help you get that cushion that you need with push off to help kind of uh, get that better mixture. Not not all firmness, you got some cushion there. And another good thing to note is this, the offset from the heel here to the forefoot is only seven millimeters, which happens to be, you know, that's pretty minor. So it's a really, really good number for me. I really enjoyed that seven millimeter drop. And then, you know, going into the outsole, which I think is a really, really great part of this shoe. Um, I'm going to hold it up to you here and you can see it's just a, some, some really aggressive outsole, okay? And, and then them treads held up in a lot of things. So I ran pretty much every terrain you could think of with these. I ran a little bit on road, I ran on grass, I ran on wet grass on a hill down, we were running, had a trail run that involved like at an orchard um, in mud. Uh, these 
treads just responded really nicely. They weren't as aggressive as they look when you run on them. Um, I felt like they allowed for just great traction no matter what I was doing. I'm a huge fan. And another little drawing point here is you see Michelin down here. They made the rubber to this outsole, which, you know, in my opinion, if Michelin that makes tires um, is going to make an outsole here and a tread, then I expect it to last. And, you know, so far it's lasted wonderfully. So that's kind of like the, the details, the highlights of the shoe. And now I want to kind of break down a little bit what makes this shoe great, okay? So the performance. I would say the performance of the shoe is great. When I think of performance, I'm thinking through how does this thing perform on every level? So I threw many different trails at it, like I said earlier. I even did some hiking in it. I wore them casually a bit. I would think the, the performance of the shoe is really high in my opinion. You know, and even even because I feel like I can use this as a daily, it's thick and big enough, and I can use it for race shoe, which I did, and I was very happy with it. The quality of the shoe. The quality of the shoe is good. Um, when I think of quality, I think of, all right, I'm getting the shoe out of the box, I'm looking at it, I'm examining its, its parts, and I'm, and I'm getting an idea of how, how, you know, how much time they really spend on design, on, on the manufacturing, on the technologies of the shoe. Um, so, it, you know, there's nothing super impressive about all that, but for the price point that this comes at, I think I got it for like $80, and, and I'm looking at the shoe, feeling the shoe, it's not going to break down fast at all. It looks like it's put together very well, but it looks like it's a very tough shoe. So great, great quality here. The fit, good fit. It fit true to size. It wasn't overly snug. The feel of the shoe when you're running on the road, when you're running on the, on the trail, the feel is really good. Now, I'm a fan of the more responsive shoes, the more firmer rides, and this did that for me. So, great, great, great fan of that. And overall, the function of the shoe, what it's made to do is to get on the trail and go rip it. It did it. So, if you want to check out my review of this shoe, it's a detailed review on run bp go check it out uh, it's kind of labeled gripping and ripping in the under armor horizon bpf ones so it's exactly what i think the shoe is about um, just throwing them on your feet going for a ride and enjoying it along the way so could do me a favor any comments go ahead and put them down there if you like this give me a thumbs up follow the run repeat channel here we got reviews updated uh, weekly and in addition go check out my review on, on the website there for more detailed spin of it so thanks a lot here this is pat list with run repeat have a great day